I'm about to start a uh, two-day job here on this property. There is going to be a house built over here in these woods. And we're going to take out all the small stuff. And like this tree right here, we're going to raise it. Get these droopy limbs off the bottom of it right there to where it kind of opens that up. And then along this field the house will be sitting over there how all these limbs are drooping into the field i'm gonna lift all of them too all the way down so uh gonna be a quite a lot of chipping and a lot of sawing i've got the lift here to where i can fix it up get some of these uh trees trimmed real nice and what have you we're gonna uh get after i'm out in the prairie i'm in the western part of our county west Lounge, and what they call west lounge and uh a lot of ash out here boat art good many of them some of them right over here and just a different variety uh there's uh red bugs or chiggers are uh pretty prevalent out here too so i'm um, Got my boots and pants coated down with permethrin, and we may see some uh, rattlesnakes here. There's no telling, but uh, we're gonna we we'll get started on it, and and I'll kind of film along when I'm getting more action stuff, and I'll uh, go to filming. So this is what it looks like now. I'm gonna ride y'all out here. Since we've had two or three days of drying now. Let's see what it looks like. Huge transformation between what it did look like compared to what it is now. So I'm going to go over here and kind of stand where, uh, where I started the video at, where the before was filmed. He's beautiful. Ooh, it's still wet right there. So this is where I started the video at, that in the beginning there, was right here. This is what you looked at in the first few clips. This tree here, it had that hackberry and that cedar growing up beside it. And then I pan the camera over this way, and this is what it was. Now let me get some spray on me before I go any further. This place is eat up with red bugs out here, hang on. Alright, got my spray on now, I don't have to worry about the old red bugs. Right there in that area there is where the pond was. I filled that in. And then over there is that other scope of woods where I worked it open too over there. Looks a lot different. We'll ride, there's a road that goes through over here and we'll ride down it and view back this way.
He couldn't even see through none of this stuff beforehand. And you can drive anywhere out through here now that you want to. All these stones are gone. We had a good bit of rain last week. I want to look at it and see what it looked like after the rain. Everything kind of settled on it soon. Man, it looks dang good. I'm very happy with it. I like going back and revisiting places where I've done a lot of work. You know, even the logging sites that uh, we've cut, uh, you know, Huge transformation though. Cause this is where I loaded the last pile out right there in the dump trailer. I'll show these oaks right here. Look at the canopy on those dudes. How long and lateral the limbs are. Be a good tree to climb in, rec climb in, play in. And there's two more right there. There's huge bases on them trees. That tree right there is going to be pushing seven foot, if not a little over seven. It's going to be right around seven if you measure it from there to there. It's a big tree. Seen a lot of sunrises and sunsets over the years. This is the last spot that I did. Down in the 40s again this morning here. Nice. The thing I hate about these mornings like this, I like it because it's cool and all. Man, all the dew that's on everything. You have to uh, park under something or whatever, but it's gonna be a beautiful day today. Nice Saturday. I'm uh, probably gonna throw the tractor and the disc on my gooseneck and head over to uh, our property in Alabama and disc it, get all the fields done. I picked up all the seed and everything for all of that yesterday. Got all that in there. Uh, that job that I just showed y'all, that's my biggest job to date. Uh, it was kind of funny watching the first part of the clip where it said I'm, it's going to be two days out there. That was on June the 1st when I started that job. And it took, uh, I worked on that job off and on June, July, and August. And I finished it up. The last video is filmed over there, which y'all seen me loading the dump trailer out, which was yesterday's video. It was on September the 1st. So I never would have dreamed that I'd have ended up out there for three months off and on. But, uh, man, it was a, that was a lot of work. It was one of those things where it just kind of kept evolving. You know, work a little bit, and and it would evolve. That's the one that the stump grinder got started on. And, and very appreciative to... Uh, to Bob and Sandy for giving me the opportunity to uh, to do that job for them and 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 also to get me started in the stump grinding because that was a huge huge boost uh, to get the stump grinding going for me. So an interesting fact about that was the weekend before that was and that Monday of that week of June the first was Memorial Day. I had did a job the end of the week before, I think on a Thursday, or no, it was probably on a Friday, I believe is when it was, yeah, I believe it was on a Friday. And the fellow, I've guess, got a bunch of videos from his place. Uh, I went over to meet with him, and he was he was <laughs> hacking and coughing and everything. He said he was okay. <laughs> so, didn't really think nothing about it, man. We jumped on the golf cart with him. We rode around and looked at it. And when I got home that night, I told Jill, I said, I'm not feeling good. Well, we ended up um, that Saturday, I did his job on that Friday. I moved to another job. 
that Friday night, I was feeling really, really bad. I got up. I didn't get up early that Saturday morning. It was about uh, probably about 9. I finally left the house because I had another job. I would already moved my stuff on, and so I bit the bullet, went over. I suffered all day. It took me about five and a half hours to do it. I got home Saturday afternoon. I told Jill, I said, I have got to go somewhere. I said, I am. I said, I feel horrible, horrible. And so uh, I went to the doctor and was able to get into place on Saturday night now. It was about six something here. And they tested me for everything. And and, and they come in there and they told me, they said, uh, you, don't have, you don't have COVID, but you got the flu. I was like, really? Said, yeah, you got the flu. So anyhow, <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure I had COVID, and here's why I know, because when I cranked the chipper up that Saturday morning, when I smelled the exhaust off of that chipper, it smelled like ammonia. It was awful, and then and nothing else was affected. It was just exhaust fumes. The chainsaw was awful. It smelled like ammonia, and I was like, what the heck, man? But that was only, the only everything else, like the wood smell, the chips, everything like that was fine. So fast forward, uh, Sunday, I never got out of bed. Monday, I never got out of bed. And whenever the first was, if that was Tuesday or Wednesday, whenever it was, that was when I started this job. At the front of the video there where I'm talking, doing the intro, I can tell by my voice how bad I feel. I thought I was going to die out there. It was hot. It was so hot, but I needed to get going. And it took me a while to kind of figure out a pace. And I was out there by myself and I didn't tell Bob or I didn't tell none of them that I was sick. I just, you know, I stayed away from them. But uh, man, I struggled those first few days over there. Let me tell you, I struggled through that, through that over yonder pretty bad. But um, so <laughs> it was interesting, man. I'm, I'm telling you, I, uh, I'll fight them out, man, when I got to like that. But, um, geez, but that was kind of funny. They they said I had the flu, you know what I mean? And I know it was COVID. I mean, I, I know it was uh, was COVID just because my smell was thrown off, you know, never lost no taste or anything. But, I mean, she told me that you're already on the downhill side of it. There's really nothing we can do, you know, or anything. Just, uh, just rest up. So, uh, but... Uh, what all y'all doing today? Like I said, plant some fields, get that done. It's that time of year, October the 1st. I, uh, ready to bow hunt. Bow season open today here in Mississippi. But, uh, I worked so hard this week, y'all. I mean, I tree work all week, uh, but, you know, Monday, all, all the way to Friday. I uh, did Monday's job. Chris was with me. Uh, that was the gigantic pine. And then, the rest of the week, I was solo by myself, so uh, I was beat down pretty good this uh, yesterday evening. So uh, Jill and I have uh, we took in, Emma out last night. She came home, wanted to go out to eat, so we went to town and, and ate and had a good time. And then uh, Jill and I have reservations at uh, a new place this evening, so be doing that. So uh, that's gonna be my day for today. Tomorrow's video is probably going to be busting some beaver dams down in the bottom. Uh, probably what that video is going to be. So, appreciate y'all watching. If you like my stuff, please subscribe. Give me the big thumbs up. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.